this is the main part, part of the uh, psychology which Abhishek Bhai has told me so strongly that so firmly that uh, I could you know remember his words still in back of my head Hi guys, uh, this is Cyril, 26 years old. Uh, first of all, please apologize me for this beard and stuff due to this COVID-19. Started trading in Jan 2020. Uh, it's been nine months with hands, hands by now. You know, uh, it's a financial freedom. Trading gives you a better life. You know, you have a lot of freedom to have fun all day, and it, at the same time, it gives you financial freedom. You know, basically, uh, I've done job in a uh, US for a couple of years so I had to come back and you know I, I need something that could compensate both financially and uh, some time for me to look off my dad's businesses and also I think this suits best for me personally it teaches a lot of personal things this is some trading is kind of professional thing and when you go back to your personal life it teaches you a lot of things like patience, you know, when you're looking for a particular stock to cross a particular level, I think you're gonna you're gonna wait for like half an hour, one hour, uh, like couple of hours. You know, that's where you know you're really testing your patience, and when it crosses that level, I think your emotions start kicking in. Time to time, you need to keep all always your emotions in check. So this thing is gonna affect your personal uh, emotions as well. So this is where I like trading so much about. I think my road to consistency was kind of roller coaster. I started trading in Jan and uh, right after I learned all my technicals, basic stuff and uh, I started to be uh, emotionally and psych psychologically you know, content and consistent. Then it, the pandemic and the lockdown started and uh, Nifty was hitting lower circuits and upper circuits day, day to day and I didn't know what to do. I was losing my capital, you know, my psychology went wrong and I totally lost my confidence and then Rituk and Akash started this Discord app, uh, the mentorship program and I started to take uh, Shubham's mentorship. You know, I was so scared in the beginning after after I lost so much of my capital. Then <coughs> Shubham told me to trade with one quantity and that's how I started to build up my confidence again. I've, done, I've laid down my position sizing. Mm. After Shubham's mentorship, I think I took a break for like a one, one and a half month from mentorship and again I joined with Abhishek Bhai and, and he taught me what's, what's the important thing of being consistent, what's the important part of being, uh, what's the important part of uh, trading psychology, you know, the small gains that add up becomes compounded and you know, in, in, a, in a month or so, you know, when you look back your past month, you know how how benefit it was for for you to be consistent and you know those small gains. It's like it's like uh, as Rithik and Akas said, it's not a get rich quick quick scheme. You know it takes time. So you build your account slow and slow. So that I think being consistent is so good, and you'll realize it after being consistent for a month or two. You know that's how you grow your confidence and stuff. So being for me, you know, being consistent took a lot of time, but but once you once I got consistent, you know, once I understood how trading psychology works, you know, how being in being in green is you know something that could provide a lot of confidence, and you know, you have confidence in your setup. So being consistent is the most important part of the trading. I, I feel uh, my favorite trade was uh, after joining. Uh, Abhishek uh, Bhai's mentorship, I think I've done my first reversal trade that is Sun TV. Everything was intact, my psychology was intact, my risk reward ratio was intact, uh, my stop loss was intact, you know, and everything went according to my analysis. And that's, that's being my first reversal trade. I don't usually trade reversals, but I usually trade breakouts. So uh, I, tra I traded my reversal. Everything, everything went according to my analysis, my, the market went according to my analysis. Everything hit, my target hit and I was holding perfectly right after my first target and it went down to the second target then I position sized and it went down to my, went down to my uh, third target so you know, I think that was my first uh, four digit profit and that gave me a lot of, lot of boost and a lot of confidence in my you know, trading setup. Now when you have a perfect setup, when you have a perfect risk reward ratio and 
you when you have a perfect setup trading setup like or uh, one or two of trade of your trading setups you know i don't think emotions play so much because you know how the stock moves and if it is not moving according to according to your analysis i don't you know i don't usually trade that kind of stocks you know, if it's not going uh, according to my analysis i'm gonna exit right away even if i'm in little loss or little profit i'm gonna exit if at all trading is move, uh, stock is moving in my particular direction according to my analysis that is a trade i'm gonna hold or is you know this is the, this is main part, part of the uh, psychology which abhishek has told me so strongly that so firmly that uh, i could you know remember his words still in back of my head yeah for me emotions doesn't really matter if you hold on to the stock for so long i think that's where emotions kick in but you know i keep booking my profits every every now and then like i trail my stop loss for you know at least if it's the 20 rupees uh, 2000 rupees stock i'm gonna i'm gonna trail my first stop loss to around 10 rupees of my profit so beginners has to uh, create their own setup I think this is this is I think one of the most important thing uh, for the beginner you know until you create until you find out your own setup because everybody has a unique personality until you find your own setup you got to keep your less investment thing protect your capital once you once you find your setup trading setup with with a perfect risk reward uh, perfect targets and once you analyze how the stock moves because every every individual stock moves in like in different ways so if reliance reliance is going to boom for like 5 to 10 rupees in a second so uh, if you have an idea about how the particular stock is trading you know how the particular stock moves i think that's how you know you create your setup you, you select your stocks you select you select your um, risk reward you you know how, how to use your position sizing once you lose huge amount of of your money that's when you know what's the psychology of the trading and how important it is to uh, exit out of the trade when it's going against you and uh, over trading you know over trading is one common thing everybody does every beginner does and you know upset by you generally used to tell you know when you sit on when you achieved your first uh, your target for the day shut the laptop shut the shut your, uh, shut your screen and just go away no when you when you keep looking at your, at the charts at the candles you know you tend to take more more trades because you feel like this is there's something perfect coming up it's going to move in your direction and you know even if everything is right if at all the market goes against you you know there's nothing to help so when you're done it's like done wrap it up so this is these few points you know get your own setup protect your capital until you get your setup and you know don't over trade this is gonna affect you so much you know after getting consistent after like 5 uh, to 6 months of you being very experienced and getting you know uh, getting consistent then you'll realize if you have if you would have protected your capital you know you would have earned so much after getting you know 5 to 6 months of experience so this is all i can tell to the beginners and it's a great journey with happens for community and i would love love to be in this community uh, forever and thank you guys thank you see